Okay, managed to make it all the way back up to the top of the mountain, and yeah, we're good as gold right now. So let's actually open the door without a troll interruption. There's my axe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the summit has to be close. Okay, maybe I not that close. Us to bring her here. Indeed. Cool. Let's punch some boxes to get rid of some of our frustration. There we go. And, uh, oh boy, another chest that we can't open right now. Just ignore it. Okay, the top of that mountain is as good as ours. What the hell is that? Uh, well, that's another chest that we can't break, but uh, this... Uh, wait, there's something right here. That's hack silver, but this... Here's to be a plot barrier. Oh no. Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch. Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless what the against hell? the black breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why uh, would to warn us? Thanks. I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic, even I can't dispel. Only the it's cool how it's coming out of the mouth is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. <laughs> Throw her off the mountain. Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. A giant, hulking, bald Maybe man you, with anger you. issues? Okay, whatever you say. Or maybe I just like you. Okay, that makes more sense. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. <laughs> Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. Hmm? <laughs> Path to the mountain. Fantastic. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. <laughs> no, so this is a two man journey. No women allowed. This is a man cave. Uh, good luck using that thing. It's pretty busted we up. Use this. Graythal. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, <laughs> based on the two we have. I mean, I did run back and forth for like 20 minutes That's just too. to grab an axe upgrade, so... I don't know. Maybe he could have finished it. Awfully convenient, if you ask me. Axe. Tears Temple is at the center of the lake. <laughs> it is from there we travel to Alfheim. <laughs> Thankfully, it's no longer wait, underwater. Wait. Hey, why is that creature in the hey, bay? Hey, witch, duck. No one knows. He just appeared <laughs> one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be myself. felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate. And Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told Damn. You. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the world serpent. You did? An exaggeration. <laughs> I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, oh, yeah, no I can't understand any of it. He's, he's gone. No or was he ever he there to begin with? Tongue. Oh, must be lonely. Watch your step, just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before, and there's no way back at all. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. 
Are you watching? What? Ooh. Solid. Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. Gross. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. Cool. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guy. There are no good gods, boy. <laughs> Thought I taught you that. Especially me. Oh, you want you want me to open the door. Silly me. Hey, we're already back here. Cool. Tyr's temple. Built with help from the giants. Great Tyr used it to travel the nine realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Cool. Malore. I feel like the. I feel like that like journal is updated like three times so far stairs. while she's talking. Um. I can't actually. Oh, where'd you go? Where the hell did they go? Oh, there she is. Okay. I was very confused. Um. What are you looking at? Please, take those stairs oh, okay. Down. Silly me. Up here? We. <laughs> hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What nice. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Uh, sure, whatever you say. <laughs> this will actually start Ragnarok. Little does Kratos know. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. <laughs> this reminds me of that one time I did this just to grab a box. <laughs> I raised the world to grab really a strong. box. <laughs> Not even exaggerating. No. He's always been really strong. <laughs> so about the dead. We heard someone call them hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Could Vanier magic raise the dead? It could. One. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. Huh. Oh, there you go. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. <laughs> Sounds so mad right now. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Well, that's cool. No, oh, no Brock either. Hmm. Guess they're dead. Never seen them again. Leosa. Nice shot. Your bowstring stopped glowing. I mean, its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and I mean, we it was used pretty it. much point blank. I'm just stroking your ego, I guess. <laughs> just like you're stroking that bow right now. Ooh, yes. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. New toy, fantastic. What the? Are you okay, boy? 
But measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. <laughs> Neither me. So dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs Damn. only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Realm travel room. Holy crap. This is cool. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree and make travel between the realms possible. Stop. Out of my way, please. Oh, Men first. <laughs> Just ignores her. This, a Bifrost to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. Uh, sure. How'd you get what this now? again? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. Ooh. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the nine realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No. The Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Hope you're taking notes, because this will be on the transcending test. Time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes, the wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. That's so cool. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Hmm, I see. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. Sign me up. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Put on your seatbelts. Because when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some absurd shit! Bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Oh, a realm beyond. So yeah. This part was, was pretty pretty crazy when I got to it for the first time. I did not expect this. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Cool. Okay. Oh, we're right back.
back in the same place. Lame. I guess the travel didn't work. Holy crap! Oh, never mind about that. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? We can't really it's miss it. It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. What no, the no. hell? Damn it, not yet. What's happening? Oh god, you aren't feeling so good. <laughs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you uh, must four step days. into the light. But be very careful not to get your body. Oh, well. She's dead. Hmm. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Um. <laughs> Chris just moves on. Not caring one bit. Even though we're in a brand new realm. Place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. So yeah, again, this part was pretty mind-blowing when I started the game. Because Midgard at this point is huge. And like we've only explored 32% of it. And I'm like, oh wow, this is really big. I mean, it's it's not like a hugest open world ever. But like it's, it's a lot bigger than the other games. That's for absolutely sure. And there's a lot of side quests and stuff. And then it's like... Oh, by the way, this is one of nine <laughs> realms. Oh, okay, this is going to be a long game, isn't it? And uh, not much of a spoiler to say this, okay. but uh, we won't be going to every realm. Because <laughs> uh, we'd be here for maybe like 70 hours if we went, were able to go to every realm. But still, just the fact that you can leave... The fact that there's more than one realm at all is just really, really cool. So yeah, that's the ruins that we're collecting to get to Muspelheim, is literally to leave Midgard and go to a completely different realm, which is, again, not what I expected. Really cool. Okay, so Alfheim. This is a... Uh, the other worlds are definitely smaller than what Midgard has to offer. Midgard's definitely the main world, and uh, Alfheim has... Uh, Whoa. New enemy type and Not our uh, concern, boy. yeah, they're focus. We'll see him eventually, but another thing that it has is also those uh, kind of like light plant things where essentially you need to find the glowing spot and throw your uh, throw your axe at him to destroy him. And the uh, game actually has interesting ways of making you deal with that boy. Uh, in a bit. What does it say? Hmm, something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. Both sides need it. Why not just share it? Agreed. You will find it a common cause for war. Hey, there we go. You also find that sometimes the, the plant things are actually covering up chests, so you're going to want to get rid of it whenever you can. What the heck? They keep murdering. Oh my item. god! It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. Okay, so Dark Elves, this is uh, the main enemy type that you're going to be seeing in Alfheim. And uh, remember when I said Revenants were the most annoying enemy in the game? I lied, it's probably these bastards, because these guys are really quick, they fly, they, uh, they have a lot of different attacks that can really dick you over, and they have a lot of health. So uh, let's actually try and uh, murder. Are you kidding me? That actually didn't work? Okay. Let's actually... Uh, uh, okay, that didn't work. Okay, it's actually... I really want to skewer this guy, so... Okay, that didn't work either. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to be as gung-ho. I just really wanted to execute one of them because I hate dealing with them. Okay, so yeah, the Dark Elves are the worst. I really don't enjoy fighting them, so that's one uh, shitty thing about all fine. But hey, at least it's pretty. Uh, also, uh, yeah, these are the Light Elves, and uh, it doesn't take a genius to... Uh, whoa. Okay, must be a glitch with Tyr's Temple, clearly. Something was wrong with Realm Travel, because that is uh, pretty bad. But yeah, if you couldn't guess, the Light Elves are on uh, kind of a losing side of the war right now. Anyway, another thing that you're going to be finding with these plant things is that 
they will actually regenerate unless all of the things connected to the plant are killed. So, in this case, we actually have to slice two of them with one axe. And, yeah, some of the camera angles that the game needs you to aim for later are pretty devious uh, just to get all these plant things. Something? No. Oh, okay. Okay, and if I'm not mistaken, this is actually the last cipher that we need to get to Muspelheim. Are you kidding me? Why the hell not? Okay, that is strange. That should have been a cipher. At least we're getting closer to the light. Weird. Maybe the game doesn't want to give us access to Muspelheim right now? I don't know. That's really strange. I don't. I feel like that shouldn't have happened, but oh well. Wait, is that syndrome? It's not like we're going to uh, Muspelheim anytime soon. Don't even worry about it. Uh, what the hell is this? It's gross, whatever it is. I think it's just a plant. It looks gross. Okay, well, like I said, sometimes we're going to actually have to uh, use three just to, uh, just to do uh, certain objectives. So, Pr pretty neat, uh, some of the camera angles. And that's actually the way to go, surprisingly. I'm actually kind of surprised, because I should probably go talk to Sindri first, who is in this realm for some reason. How are you here before us, Dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic. But, uh... Oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? <laughs> it's cut right to the chase. It's, it's just magic. Okay, so uh, one cool thing is that every time you get to a new realm, the shop will actually update with a ton of new stuff for you to buy. And uh, most of the time, the stuff you can buy in the shop isn't as good as the stuff you'll find out in the wild, if I'm remembering correctly. Later in the game, that's absolutely not true. You, the, the armor that you can buy towards the end of the game is dumb how good it is. Um, but right now, uh, refresh all runic attack cooldowns. That's actually really good. Again, we really should actually use that one enchantment that I have. And here's actually generate common enchantment. And I think I've said this before, but this game, the way like the crafting system works... Uh, it kind of reminds me of, like, with the enchantments especially, it kind of reminds me of, like, Shadow of Mordor. Um, and especially with the Generate Common Enhancement, you'd think this game, it, it, it's kind of like prime set for microtransactions. And thankfully, there are none to be found in the game, so you don't actually have to worry about that. Um, kind of like invading, like, the balance of the game, I guess. Yes, dear boy. Um, because the Sony Santa Monica actually had integrity. Who, who would have thunk it? And I guess weren't pressured by a benevolent, benevolent uh, publisher, I guess. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing we can nothing really craft liking. right now. Even I though there's a ton of fancy stuff in the shop, nothing is really, like, overtly catching my, catching my eye, so let's instead, uh, let's get Glacial Permafrost because we have a ton of experience points now. Uh, Leviathan's Fury would be cool to get, but I don't think it's totally necessary. Um, Barehanded, Guardian's Revenge. Yeah, I, I don't think any of this is really necessary, so uh, I think that's actually it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, a boat tangled up over there. Well, it's not tangled up anymore, boy. I've already solved the problem, so pay attention, please. Okay, let's move on. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Uh, are, are you okay? Uh, okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves were always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. 
Okay, so throughout the boat, you might, might have noticed that we were able to pick up, like, gold pieces in the water. Uh, like, little sparklies. Another thing that we can actually find uh, sometimes on the boat is these uh, epic permanent stat increases that you can just grab with the boat. And those are uh, those are just really cool. They, they add up uh, pretty easily, too, so... Again, huh? I said nothing. Wait, this one you said something. What the hell? Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... Evil. Hmm. I, I would recommend a doctor, but I don't think there's anyone here willing to help us right now. Especially with the witch gone, now that I think about it. She was pretty much the only one who was willing to help us. And, uh, she's dead for all we know. Okay, well, uh, hopefully, hopefully that doesn't happen again, boy. Hopefully you're fine. Let's just move on. It's a small world after all. Am I entertaining you? Man, this area is pretty. Should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. You heard the man. No meddling in other worlds allowed. Except for all the Dark Elves we're going to be killing. <laughs> Spoiler alert. 